He's the prime minister's former number two. And now it seems like he's the premier's enemy number one. Former minister and coalition chairman Gideon Saar is being accused by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of trying to oust him from office. Netanyahu says he learned of a plot by Saar to have President Reuven Rivlin appoint Saar to lead a new government after the next elections due to the corruption allegations against and possible indictment of Netanyahu. For the past few weeks, I have known that a former Likud minister is talking to coalition officials and has devised some subversive maneuvers. Saar dismissed the notion, calling it a ridiculous conspiracy theory, and Rivlin went even further, intimating Netanyahu needed professional help. A source close to Netanyahu said Saar's reaction to the allegations proves the story. Saar said today that Netanyahu crossed a red line, but another Netanyahu rival and one-time Likudnik says he believes there is a conspiracy at play. And Gideon Saar is not the kind of a guy that will uh, let, a, let a chance like that, becoming the prime minister of Israel out of nowhere, <laughs> slip out of his hand. Saar was a rising star in the Likud party before suddenly and surprisingly exiting politics in late 2014, claiming he needed more time with his family. He announced his comeback last year in the thick of the corruption investigations of Netanyahu. Netanyahu reportedly attempted to shelve the hiring of Saar's wife, a popular TV anchor, at the new government-funded TV network, fearful of her influence on the viewing public. Netanyahu is not a brave man. He's very, very much afraid of all the shadows around him. Uh, but in this case, it's, it, it, it is simply... It makes too much sense. Now, either Netanyahu truly fears a plot by Sa'ar and Rivlin, or it's another instance of Netanyahu trying to burst the bubble of a challenger from within the Likud palace. Mike Wagenheim, I-24 News.